Great to see you here again in a new video offered to you by the Custer Academy. My name is Luke de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy, and we are going to talk about the normal probability distribution in Excel. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Let's have a look at Excel. Now, when we look at Excel or some other spreadsheet programs, or special software, you find those formulas, uh, formulas in those different uh, formats. Now, Excel is the one that's used the most, and most formulas look like the formulas like in Excel. And the first formula we're going to look at is how to calculate those percentages of the normal distribution when we use the Z value. So what we have in Excel is a norm dot s dot distribution with two parameters z and cumulative. Now in Excel we always calculate from the, to the left of z. Either we have the value at z or the probability for values less than z. Now we have the z value. That's the z value we calculate with the formula x minus the average divided by the standard deviation and cumulative means that we either select the cumulative curve like we see the gray area or the false when we select false we have the density or the mass curve the value of the function the normal distribution at the point z there is also a possibility to have the formulas using the numbers without calculating the z value that's one of the advantages in Excel because thanks to the calculations, thanks to the formulas that are, that are integrated, we don't necessarily have to calculate the Z value. And we can just calculate the val values starting from X, the average, or the average when we have X bar of a sample, the standard deviation, sigma or S. Now the numbers here, X, are in fact, the data values that we consider, we have the mean and the standard deviation, and the same rule applies for cumulative. True gives us the cumulative curve, false gives us the density curve. Now let's first have a look at the norm.dist function. Here we don't have to calculate the z value, so we fill out those numbers in the formula. And when you click on f of x in the Excel sheet, you will find the formula builder. And there you can put the values x 161, mean 155, standard deviation 10. And here I select false. And at the bottom, you immediately see the result. Now we can also select the numbers based on fields in the Excel file. So then we will find the field coordinate in those different items. We see the same result here, 0 0.0. 3333-2246 for this first calculation. Now we look at the norm dist, but we change the parameter from false to true. And now we get the cumulative distribution, which gives us 0 0.7257 and so on, or 72.57%. So basically, it's very easy to enter those data in Excel using the formula as you know it. Once you know the formula, it's easy to copy paste. And when you want to build the formula for the first time, you can use the formula builder. And it also gives you explanations on how to work with that formula. Now we look at the density and the probability curve. So basically, we can calculate this for different values. I selected the mean value of 155 and a standard deviation of 10. I take the x values going from 120 to 180, and we see through calculation using these formulas, I can calculate the coordinates of the density function and the cumulative function, like you see here. On the left hand side, you see the values for the cumulative curve, and on the right hand side, you find the values for the mass curve. Basically, this is the result you get, and you can use this as a visual representation 
of the probabilities. And it's very interesting to see because you can say basically when you look at 158, there is a probability that uh, X will be smaller than 158, probability of a little bit more than 60%. We will use that in other applications like in project management, risk management, or in value and other elements in project management, but also in operations and other courses. Now we look at the norm as this function. Here we use the S value, we calculate, or sorry, we use the Z value, we have to calculate the Z value, and the formula is a lot easier. Huh? We only have the Z value there, true and false, and the formula builder is also, uh, let's say, uh, very simple. Here we see for Z, F14, it means that in the coordinate F14, I find the Z value of equal to minus 3.5. We have false and we see the result down under 0 0.000872. This is the result of this calculation. And that's the final result we find in the table. We can now do the same thing and we can use the norm as this where we have the cumulative parameter set to true. So now we find the probability of the numbers being to the left of minus 3.5 as a Z value. And we see it's a very small number, it's 0 0.00023 and so on. So basically we find these different numbers and we can do all the calculations. We can also do the same thing that we did before. We can draw the curve and we see the table and the density and the cumulative function or curves. So that was it for this presentation. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our other videos. Thank you very much and bye-bye.